Now it's my pleasure to introduce our partner, Call Miner. Call Miner is the leader in the contact center conversational analytics space. They allow businesses to analyze and ensure quality on 100% of their customer conversations, and it's all powered by Azure Speech. Let's have a look at how Call Miner is enabling businesses to better their customer service operations. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about CallMiner by viewing the demo of our omni-channel analytics capabilities. In this demo, you'll see how CallMiner can ingest and analyze not just voice-based conversations from the call center, but also emails, text messages, chats, and more. The CallMiner solution has the advantage of treating all interactions in a similar manner. Calls and digital-based interactions are resolved to their underlying transcripts. This means that searches, categorizations, and scoring is applied in the same way across the various interaction channels that can be ingested into the CallMiner platform. To focus on a specific channel, it would simply be a matter of filtering, reporting, or queries by that channel. On the screen is an example of a dashboard in the Visualize module of the CallMiner Analyze solution. This dashboard focuses on analysis across the various channels, showing a word cloud of category hits, durations, contact reasons, and other data. This example of the ability to report across channels in a single view, as well as to filter to a specific channel as desired, such as if we wanted to see only data related to the chats. We can simply filter based on that particular channel and the views will update accordingly. The two elements that are unique about digital interactions are punctuation and emojis. These are both searchable in the search module. Under the attribute filter section, one can see the various types of contacts ingested into the system and we can use filters to include or exclude specific types of channels within our search. In this case, I can also in the search box search for punctuation and emojis. I can look for things like an exclamation point and the usage of something like angry emojis within the conversations. I would set my criteria, go ahead and click search. It'll find those interactions that meet that criteria. And in this case, we can see the various types of interactions that have the usage of exclamation points and emojis in the context of those conversations. If there's a desire to see more details about a particular contact, we can drill to the contact details view. Within this particular view, we'll see information related to things such as the metadata associated with the interaction. We see a graphical representation of the interaction showing the different parties on this conversation and the various points at which various categories have been tagged within the conversation. In the main section view here, we see the transcription of that entire, in this case, chat that we're looking at. To the right of that, we see a summary of the various types of events that have already been tagged out, including the categorizations and other items. The Experience tab will give us some further details about this particular conversation, including elements of how this particular interaction was evaluated through the various types of scoring that has been applied, as well as, in this case, a journey view so if there is ID information related to the interactions that can tell us things like the customer ID or the related ticket number or contract number across interactions, we can use that information to link interactions together and show a journey of the customer over time. Related to this chat, we can see there was actually a call that preceded this chat. And after the call, there was uh, email contact, a couple of additional calls, uh, another uh, survey response here, and then also another email that occurred in the course of this particular customer's journey. So as you can see, Call My Eureka provides a platform for categorizing, scoring, and analyzing contacts across all your channels in one location and in a consistent manner. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about CallMiner. For more resources like this, check out our Learning Center within the Resources menu of our website. To connect with CallMiner, find us on Twitter, LinkedIn, or email us at info at callminer.com. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about CallMiner by viewing the demo of our real-time agent guidance capabilities. In this demo, you'll see how CallMiner recognizes and transcribes calls in real time to provide content-based agent guidance, supervisor alerting, and PCI-compliant redaction. CallMiner can integrate voice data from a variety of sources, including cloud-based CCAS vendors like Five9 and LiveVox. Before we go into the Live Alert demo, we want to show you the various interfaces you'll see in the call today. On the left side of the screen here, we have the Coach Platform, and within the Coach Platform, we are in the Command Post module. 
The command post module is typically leveraged by a supervisor, manager, or quality team to see the calls that are currently in progress. On the right side of the screen here is the agent assistant. This exists on the agent's desktop as an application to serve alert information to the agent. During the course of our demo today, you will see both interfaces at the same time. The other thing to note here is that both these interfaces are built on top of an underlying subscription API. This API can be leveraged to deliver data to other mechanisms for consumption during real time of the call. So you're not tied into just using these particular interfaces with respect to the call minor alert solution. Within the demonstration call within the command post in the coach platform, you will see the detailed view, which will show you the real time transcription, as well as the alerts that are being triggered during the conversation. On the agent assistant side, you will be, see the expanded view, which will show all the various history of alerts where the agent can interact with those alerts as necessary. During the course of the conversation, you will see situations where the alerts will deliver to the agent information about the tenor of the conversation from the customer perspective, as well as potential next best actions that should be taken during the conversation. Thank you for calling customer first. This is Quincy. How may I help you today? Hi there. Yeah, I'm pretty frustrated. I have received three calls so far from customer first asking for a payment, and I keep telling this machine that I've already sent a payment. I'm sorry to hear that, Ms. Garcia. Uh, let me take a look and take care of this for you. Uh, first, I would need to ask you a few questions to verify your identity. May I have the last four of your social security number and your mailing address? Yes, it's 1234, and my address is 123 Main Street, Chicago, Illinois. Okay, great. Before we continue, I just need to let you know that this call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. So thank you for the verification. It appears that you have an unpaid balance of $300 based on your last two statements. And we haven't received any payment since two statements ago. That's ridiculous. I sent a check last month. I want to speak to your supervisor. I can understand how frustrating this is. It would appear that we did not receive the check, but I'm sure I can help resolve this issue for you. Well, it appears I'm getting charged a late fee as well. Can I get a refund on that too? Let me see here. Um, if we can get a payment today, then uh, because of your loyalty, and this is the first time this has happened on your account, we can definitely get that charge reversed. Well, that's good. Definitely. Uh, now, can I take your payment over the phone to get your account current? Uh, do you have your bank account information so I can take that now? Sure. What do you need? I will need your bank routing number and your account number. Yes, my routing number is 1234 and the account number is 5678. And can I set that payment for today for $300? Yes. Excellent. Let me go ahead and process that. Okay, I've confirmed the payment. Would you like the confirmation number? Sure. Great. The confirmation number is 1457. And so I just want to let you know that I'm going to send an email uh, to you about how you can make a payment online in the future. Uh, this will allow you to verify that we received it right away and it will save you some money on the stamp. Great. Thank you for that. So to recap, I was able to process your payment and you'll be getting a credit for the late fee. Is there anything else I can help you with today? No, that was all I needed. I really appreciate your help today. It was my pleasure. Thank you for calling customer first. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about CallMiner. For more resources like this, check out our learning center within the resources menu of our website. To connect with CallMiner, find us on Twitter, LinkedIn, or email us at info at callminer.com. Hi there, I'm Jason. Today we're going to walk through a few examples of how CallMiner's platform, Eureka, delivers intelligent and actionable insights to improve your agent's performance and contact center efficiency. Contact center efficiencies include things like average handle time, silence during calls, and automating the QA process by utilizing CallMiner's AI-fueled modeling. By focusing on these areas, your business can save money by reducing call times and increasing agent efficiencies. In addition, efficient agents help improve the overall customer experience. Analyze provides quick insights through our pre-built content and measures. For instance, Empathy, 
which is how an agent reacts when a caller calls in with an issue, is easily tracked and trended through the Eureka platform. Things like silence, which you don't often have the ability to track in other platforms, is easy to drill down and find exactly where the issues lie. Our out-of-the-box content for automating QA helps you achieve speed to insight quickly. All of our content can be customized using your data. What that means is you're able to tune any of the out-of-the-box content or create your own content in ways that are impactful to your business. As supervisors monitor performance, they're able to use the Find tab in order to drill into specific calls where these behaviors occur. Supervisors are able to quickly find exactly what area of the call it was on and send that insight directly to their agents. Agents are able to track all the insights that they've received from their supervisors. Once an agent receives their insight, they're able to listen to that sample of the call. They're able to review the notes by their supervisor and they can start a discussion. Discussions allow an agent to really go back and forth with their supervisor about the issues that they're facing and come to a resolution together as opposed to a one-way coaching. Switching from manual to automated QA using speech analytics and call miner gives a lot of advantages in the industry. For instance, I'm able to go into my agent quality score and grab some different dimensions that are important. In this case, let's look at agent, let's look at the department, and then let's also pull in the supervisor. So I can sort these how it makes the most sense to me. And then I can apply this and look directly into where my areas of opportunity are. In this case, we can see that my sales department has a lower agent quality score. I can drill in further. And then I can get to a team level so we can see Bertha Jordan's team in this example is our lowest performing. Now that I've drilled down into the agent level, I'm able to really explore some new insights. So I can pick a specific agent, I can go with Brady, and I'm able to drill into the specific calls that made up her agent performance score. So in this case, let's find one to take a look at. So if I was an analyst or a QA person, I could easily jump over here and I can listen to the call directly through our interface. I can jump to specific events that happen within the call. So if I wanted to see times where there was silence or overtalk or you know, even some sales benefits, I'm able, able to quickly move into those areas. I'm able to see the transcripts, so that way I can know exactly what's being said as I'm listening and see where everything flags appropriately. And I can go into the scorecard. This means that I'm able to see for the agent quality score exactly how everything is, uh, how the agent is performing on each of the pieces of their call. In this case, we notice their politeness score is very low, so we could look into further why politeness is not where we would expect it to be. Our coach product takes automated QA to the next level by delivering scores directly to your agents and supervisors. This allows for 100% QA coverage on all levels of your business based on a true view of your agent performance, not just a few calls per week. Alert is our real-time platform, which allows a supervisor to monitor an agent's performance live during a call. From the agent side, they're able to see exactly what alerts are firing and make corrections as they go along in order to improve their behaviors. Using Visualize powered by Tableau, you're able to drill into any of the call center efficiencies and provide trend analysis and in-depth analytics to find out exactly where performance improvements can be made. Thank you for watching this demo. If you'd like to see more of the CallMiner platform and how it can help you uncover and act on intelligence from your customer interactions, fill out the See a Personalized Demo form on our website. Or if you want to see what insights you can find in your own data, contact us for a test drive.